So our new unit is over solving exponential equations. And what you need to know is the exponent rule. Another word for exponent is power. So let's say I have x to the power of four and it's raised to another power. So that's two exponents or two powers. Okay, we have the power of four to the power of five. When you see something like that, the rule is to multiply the exponents. And another word for exponents is power. You'll see it called both ways. Multiply the powers, multiply the exponents. Here, this is the power of four to the power of five. Okay, so let's do some examples. We have here an exponent raised to another exponent. According to the exponent rule, what is our answer? Yep, x to the power of eight. We multiply them. Okay, this next example. We also have an exponent raised to another exponent. According to the rule, we multiply the exponents together. So I will have, what is three times two x? Six x. And then three times the one or the negative one would be a negative three or minus three. So that's my exponent and your base just stays the same. We multiplied them together. This is the exponent rule. Okay, now we're gonna get into solving because this is what this unit is about, solving exponential equations. Before we do that, let's write out the steps of solving. For number one, bases must be the same. If they are not the same, so I'm going to put if not, rewrite the bases. Bases must be the same. If they are not, you need to rewrite the bases. Write that however you want to. I try to write it short. The bases must be the same. If they are not the same, rewrite the bases. And I will teach you how to do that, okay? The other steps you know how to do. Step number two is set exponents equal to each other. And then you solve. This is the algebra one and check your work. That's also algebra one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to rewrite your base so that they're the same. That's the only thing that's new. Everything else we know how to do. Okay, we're just building on top of algebra one. Before we move on to solving, let's create a list so that we can easily do this. I have the numbers one through 10 here. If I were to square all of these, let's write down what we would get. Let's list the perfect squares. So if I were to square one, what would I get? One, square the two, four, square the three, nine, square the four, square the five, square the six. I wanna hear everyone, 49, 64, 81, 100. Guys, go ahead and write all of this down. Those are the perfect squares. Those are the numbers one through 10 squared. Okay, what I did here, let me just use six as an example. Actually, I'll use five as an example. I did five times five to get 25. What if I multiplied this by another five? What would my answer be? 125, that is a perfect cube if you multiply five by itself three times. 
So guys, can y'all compile a list if you were to multiply all these numbers again? So one times one times one is one. Two times two is four times another two is what? Eight, good. Three times three gave us nine times a third three is what? 27, good. Four times four is 16 times another four would be what? 64. So I'm gonna pause here and I want you guys to give me all of the perfect cubes up to the number 10. Okay, so what is six times six times six? 216, thank you. What is seven times seven times seven? Eight times eight times eight? Five what? Thank you. Nine times nine times nine? Seven what? Thank you. And 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand. All right, guys, so these are your perfect cubes. I just wanted y'all to make this list because it will help you as we move forward, okay? So now that we made our list, let's go ahead and practice what, we, what we're gonna do for the unit. Let's do some practice problems. We're gonna solve here. So these are the three problems that we're going to solve. We're gonna use the steps that we just wrote down. Let me go back to the steps. Step one, your bases must be the same. If not, we're gonna have to rewrite it, okay? So this first example, are my bases the same for number one? If so, what is my base? Good. My base is five. They match. Thank you. So since my bases match, let's move on to step two. Step two, what do we do? Good. So let's set the exponents equal to each other. The exponents are three and 2x minus 1. Now it's just algebra 1. You just solve. So I'm going to pause here and let you guys solve that equation. Okay, so if you solved, you should have gotten two. What is step number four? Check. So let's check our work. We solved it, now let's check our work. So I'm going to plug two back into the original problem. I'm going to check my work. So I have five cubed equals five, two x minus one. I wrote the original problem down. I'm going to erase this x and put a two in its spot. All right, so guys, help me simplify this. What is two times two minus one? Oh, do those match? Okay, so this worked. We got a true statement, five cubed equals five cubed. So that means this is indeed our answer. We checked it. All right, let's do number two. Number two, let's think for a moment. This is my base. Are my bases the same? They are not the same. One is a three, the other one is a 27. Those do not match. So that's where we have to do step one. So let's look back. Step one says bases must be the same. If they're not the same, we have to rewrite it. So let's go back to this list that I prepared. Do y'all see the number 27? Oh, it's right here, let me highlight it. This is the number 27 right here. So it was originally a three. How do you get to 27? You cube it. Three times three times three is 27. So instead of writing 27, we're going to write three cubed. So let's go back to this problem. We have three. Oh, let me get this off. We have three to the two X. This does not change. What is going to change is this 27. We're gonna write it as three to the power of three. Do you guys see now that the bases are the same? 
Okay, that is step one. Make sure the bases are the same. So this is my base here. The base here is three. The base here is three. Okay. Now, remember from our very first rule, when you have a power raised to another power, what do you do to the exponents? You multiply them. Okay. So this will become, I'm just going to copy this down, 3 to the 2x. That will not change. Your base is still 3. But let's multiply these together. What is 3 times 3x? 3 times 4, 12. Okay, so this is now what we have. Our bases are the same. That's what we want. Now, everyone, please read out step two. Set the exponents equal to each other. So the exponent here is 2x. The exponent here is 9x plus 12. Now it's just algebra one. Let's solve that. Do it on your own. You can look up here if you want to check. Okay, number three, our bases are not the same. I have eight and four as bases. So we have to rewrite these, okay? So let's look at the list. Our list, do you guys see where eight and four are? Okay, now we have to figure out how to rewrite it. Here's eight and here's four. How do you write four? Two squared is four, good. How do I write eight with the same base? Two cubed, okay? Two times two is four. Two times two times two is eight. So do you guys see how we use the list? Okay, so let's rewrite four and eight with the bases two. So I'm gonna go back to this number, number three. My exponents, they don't change. I'm just worried about the bases right now. Um, my exponents stay the same. We're rewriting the base so that they match. 8 was 2 to the third power. 4 is 2 to the second power. Now my bases match. Okay, now we're going to use the power rule. Remember, when you have an exponent and another exponent, what do we do with them? Multiply. So this will become 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. Equal it to this side. 2 times x is 2x. Plus 2 times 2 is 4. The rest is algebra one, we just have to solve. So you should have subtracted two X. Three X minus two X is just X. Everything else can come down. Subtract six. So you get X is negative two. That's your answer. Now we can also check our work. So guys, I'm gonna erase this over here and check our work. I'm gonna do it over here, is that okay? I don't want y'all to get confused. I'm gonna check my work over here on the left. So the original problem was eight X plus two equals four X plus two. And I'm gonna plug in negative twos. So I'm gonna erase this X, erase this X, put in a negative two. Okay guys, what's negative two plus two? Zero. And what's anything to the power of zero? One. Eight to the power of zero is one. 
four to the power of zero is one. So that's a true statement. So this is indeed our answer. Okay, guys, y'all can flip over to the back, to the next page. Is there a problem you guys would like me to do? 